Hey everybody, welcome to part 18 of building the R2-D2 from Fan Home. Now in this episode we're going to be checking out stages 67, 68, 69, and 70. So now we're moving on to the body. We're actually going to start building the metal frame that goes inside the body. Uh, these have got some big panel pieces in here that you can see. Uh, more of the metal frame as well. And then some of the details that go along the frame. So we get two big chunks of R2's body, which is really cool. Here's the magazine for issue 67. Last minute alterations. Looks like they're still doing some location filming for uh, Return of the Jedi. Oh, that's cool. A silver looking 3PO. Looks like more of the uh, animated series type stuff. And robotic vision. Oh, that's cool. The uh, vacuum robots. <laughs> Those are very popular. Other real world technology there. Now, uh, so body frames. We're going to start building the frame for the body. It's like a metal frame. But this is one of those issues where you put together four pieces and that's it. You know, I, I hate issues like this. They could have really combined this with another issue and just make, you know, I mean, this whole kit could have been down to maybe 50 stages instead of 100. But, you know, of course, they want to stretch this out because it makes you have to spend more money. But I don't know. One of the drawbacks to these kits. Here are the parts that we get for stage 67. So this is the beginning of the framework for R2-D2's body. I think these are actually the bottom sections. These are all nice metal pieces. It's a couple of uh, flat pieces right here. And then we also have some black screws and some silver screws. So let's get started on these. All right, so we start with these two pieces. Now this piece here, you got to make sure that the number is facing up and that the countersunk holes are facing up as well. This has a little uh, bump right here that's going to match up with these two holes down here. So you're just going to match them up like this. Then we're going to flip this over. Then we take the silver six millimeter screws to put this together like this. Like I said, there's not much to this level, but it's nice that we're finally getting started on the frame. And I'm just grateful that we're actually this far along. So hopefully that, oh, that's right. I was going to say, I hope that lines up but with that post back there. That helps. All right. So that takes care of that part. And next we take this one and just kind of do the same thing on this side, matching up that pin again to these holes. Uh, let's see, which way is that? This way. Okay, and then once again, another one of those screws. It's nice that these are countersunk. Makes it nice and smooth. Okay, just like that. All right, so far so good. All right, so now this piece goes on the opposite side, just like the other one, where you match up these little bumps or whatever you call those, the little rods. And then once again, two more screws. So I'll show you what that looks like. And there we go. That's all together now. And that's all there is to stage 67. Like I said, there really wasn't a lot to do on that at all. Here's the magazine for issue 68. The end of an era. Yeah, after that third movie, it was kind of sad. It's like, we didn't know if there'd be any more Star Wars. We figured that was probably the end. Then, of course, the prequels came out. Hmm, all kinds. Oh, I love the gonk. The gonk is... <laughs> what is it about the gonk everybody loves? I think he's... I don't know. There's something charming and endear endearing about those, those power droids. End of farming tooling. Oh, end of arm tooling. Oh, that's pretty cool. Ooh, that's neat. So, uh, yes, we're going to be doing some more body panel work here. Um, this, this is cool. This is like a real big chunk of the body. I'm going to be adding some of the cuffs and the details that go inside there. So that's pretty cool. You know, we're starting to get to the end of this build now. And so uh, here's the instructions here. So I don't think there's a whole lot to do on this either. But, you know, at least we're getting some work done on the body now. Here are the parts that we get for stage 68. So this is that really nice panel piece. Look at that. Pretty significant. This kind of gives you an idea of how big this R2 is. Like I said, I think it's half scale. Uh, so he's he's pretty big. These are the cool little... Uh, it's part of the vent that goes on the side of him. It's got the blue in the background. 
I think this is going to be the cuff that goes on here on this part of the uh, panel there. This is cool. Look at that nice chrome piece. That's the part that's going to go in here. Kind of reminds me of the Dharma symbol from the TV show Lost. If you guys watched Lost, you know what I mean. has the exact same pattern. Another really awesome show. All right, well, let's get started on these. So the first thing we're going to do is put that piece in here. So it doesn't matter which way this goes because it's all the same all the way around. So this piece goes inside the hole right here. So let's just drop it in like that. And then you're going to take the uh, six millimeter black screws. Now, um, they don't give you enough screws in this stage. So you're going to have to dig into your stash of screws to, uh, to do all this. So whatever you do, hang on to the extra screws you got because you, you will need them later on down the road. So let's just put that in place just like that. And there we go. Looks very, very cool. Next, we're going to put that piece into the, uh, the body now. So you just match that up with these uh, lugs sticking up. And they go in at an angle like that. See how that's angled like that? It's very cool. Fits just like that. And then more of the 6 millimeter black screws. Make sure that's pushed in all the way. Okay. And try to get this in here. I gotta kind of push hard to make sure these uh, go in right. All right, and then there's one more that goes in here, and I'll show you what that looks like. And that's what it looks like when it's all put on. Very nice looking piece there. So next we're gonna do this little cuff. Now this looks like it just snaps in. You can tell because there's a hexagon shaped holes on here. So we're just gonna line up these uh, posts on the back here. Like that, and then I guess we'll just push this in. You see. Hmm, I guess so. Gosh, it didn't even didn't even make a snap sound or anything. I guess that's how that goes. I don't know, it's pretty loose. Maybe you're gonna screw that in later. Hmm, I don't know, but it does fit nice. Look at that. Look at the nice tight fit around there. Alright, well, I guess that's all there was to that. Okay, so next we're going to take these two pieces here, and let me see, we're going to flip it over like this, so that we match up these little notches here with these parts sticking up, and the holes, like that. That looks really cool, and then we're going to put it on the panel here, so uh, that these tabs go in these holes right here, just like that, and then... Got the screw holes right there. Now we're going to use the black 4 millimeter screws, the smaller ones, to put this in. Once again, uh, if you have trouble telling which screws are which, the best thing to do is just measure them, because that's what I'm doing. Really would help, though, if they had these labeled. All right, let me put the other screw in right here, and we'll see what it all looks like. And there we go. That looks really cool. Once again, I absolutely love these parts. They're really fantastic. All right, well, that's all there is to stage 68. Here's the magazine for issue 69. Galaxy moves on. This is the uh, animated series stuff, which I have never seen any of that. I think some people are pretty into it, but uh, I never saw any of it. I don't know. For me, the first original three movies really are the main ones. I mean, that's kind of the ones that kind of started it and ended it. When they did the prequels, I really wasn't too, you know, thrilled about those. Uh, Revenge of the Sith, is that the third one? That, that one, uh, that one was pretty good. And then the, the uh, sequels, God, we won't get into that. <laughs> but uh, here we got some more body frame work. Now this is another one of those issues, just like 66. You put together four pieces and then that's it. I mean, this is such a such a drag. I really hate these levels a lot. 66 and 69 here could have been combined. But, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Really disappointed in these particular levels. Here are the parts that we get for stage 69. So more frame pieces, nice metal uh, pieces right here. One of the little brackets that holds them together. And another interesting L-shaped bracket there. Alright, so let's get started on these. Okay, so once again, this is one of those levels that's uh, really easy. So make sure the numbers are facing up on these parts, like that one and on this one. So we're going to take this bracket piece. And we're going to put it right here. This is kind of similar to the way the, uh, the frame of the head was made. 
And then we're going to take these silver, I think these are four millimeter screws, to put this in. Let's see, am I going the right way? Yeah, it's this side, okay? Just like that. All right, and then this next piece just goes right in here, like the little dovetail kind of thing. Fit it in there like that. Okay, and then we'll just screw that one in as well. These screws are super tiny. Okay. And put that together like that. Okay. And then that's it. That's all there is to this stage. Another one of those kind of lame stages <laughs> where you hardly do any work on it. Here's the magazine for issue 70. Having a hard time gripping these pages today. Let's see. Towards the prequels. Oh, I was just talking about those. Lucas Arts. Yep. Let me see. These pages are really sticking together on these. Some more uh, animated stuff there with the Astromex. The artwork looked pretty good on those. Social robots. Ah, yeah, that's cool. You know how I feel about those robot pets, like Emo and Vector and Luna. <laughs> it's really cool. Uh, we've come a long way with that. All right, so here's another big body panel piece. We're going to be adding, just like the last one, these little details that fill in these little sections down here. Um, and I think, let me see, I think we're going to combine those two panels. Let me see, yeah, it looks like we're going to put them two. That's really neat. Kind of gives you an idea just how big this, this uh, R2 is going to be. Here are the parts that we get for stage 70. So another really nice, significant back panel piece. Very, very nice looking. Uh, this piece here, this is very odd. This piece is a separate piece that goes on here. And I was trying to figure out why they would make you do that, because the rest of these are molded in. The only thing I can think of is, I've seen pictures of R2-D2 where this panel is distinctly weathered. Uh, it's like it was replaced or something. And so maybe they chose to do that so that in case you decide to weather R2-D2, you can just take this off and weather it separately. Maybe that's why they did it. That's the only thing I can think of. Here are the coin, uh, the change returns. Uh, for those of you who don't know, a lot of parts on R2-D2 are actually vending machine parts. <laughs> these pieces that go down here, that, these were actually the coin returns where the change would come out. And then the little slots, the uh, rows of slots on the front of him, those were actually where you drop the coins in. It's pretty funny. <laughs> and then here are the brackets for uh, putting these panels together. We get three of those. All right, so let's get started on that. Okay, so now this is the first piece we're going to put in. This is BP-02. It's going to go right into this slot, so we're going to put that in here. Just drops right in, and there's a little tab that clicks right in there. That's really very nice. And then on the back here, we're going to secure it. Let's see, is it here? No, it's this one. All right, so we're back to the 6 millimeter black screws to fasten this on. I like how that just snapped in like that. That was very cool. They probably could have made this all snap together, but I do like that you screw it all together to make it nice and strong. Okay, so that's it for that one. Next, we're going to put the same thing into the other side here, the other slot. Once again, snapping in place, just like that. Very cool. And the same, um, what is it, 6 millimeter black screw? <laughs> you do use a lot of those, mainly for the plastic parts like you see here. All right, very good. So that was easy enough. And next we're going to put this panel in now. So just match up the, uh, the little posts in there. This just drops right in like this. That looks really good. And then more of the 6 millimeter black screws here to get this in place here. If I can get a grip on it. <laughs> okay. Trying to get a good view of this so that I'm not off camera. It's hard because I got the camera right in front of me here. So, all right, and then we put the other screw in that one, and then I'll show you what it looks like when that's all complete. All right, so next we're going to actually start putting these brackets on here. So they have this arrow on here. See that arrow right there? And on this panel, there's also an arrow. So you just match these up 
so that they're pointing towards each other with this uh, just going into the hole like that. Okay, and then uh, let me see here. We're going to use again the six millimeter black screws to put this in. It's kind of cool how they uh, put the panels together. I was wondering how that was. I thought they were going to be just screwed to the frame or something, but they're actually connected to each other. All right, so we have two more of these pieces right here. And we're going to do the same thing with this part and this part and a screw each. So let me get all that put on. And there's all that put together now. So we're going to take the previous panel that we were working on, and these are actually going to go together. So we just line up these uh, posts with the, um, the brackets here, just like that. Make sure they're aligned, all three of them. Okay, and then once again, the black six millimeter screw, they go in at an angle like this. So let's get that in there. All right, and then we do two more here and here, and I'll show you what it looks like when that's all together. All right, so here's that piece put together. I, you know, I gotta say I struggled with this a little bit because the, the alignment was a little off. Uh, at the top here, see how that's just a little bit of a, here, let me flip it this way. See how we're, see how there's like a, see how there's a little, I don't know, like a little edge right there. I mean, maybe it'll fit better once we get the other panels on here, but there's even a little bit higher ridge right here. And it was even worse than that, so I had to go back and take this whole thing apart because these things, you know, they will, uh, they'll kind of move, you know, back and forth like this when you have this one in here. So I had to loosen all of these screws and try to turn this the right way to get this, to, you know, minimize this edge. But what's weird is the bottom matches up just fine. See how that lines up? I mean... Where is it? Right there? It lines up just fine, but yet you still got to, it's almost like this panel is slightly longer than this one. And if you look here, this panel line is a little bit higher than that one. And it was, like I said, it was worse than that until I fixed it. But um, I don't know, that's the second time I've run into an alignment issue with some of these things. Uh, if you watched my last video, the uh, when I was working on the dome, there was two sections that I had to hot glue in place instead of screw in because they wouldn't align properly. Everything else lined up just fine, but it, except for those two parts. So I don't know if that's just a, a flaw with the measurement of the kit or something. Uh, I really don't know. But, you know, we only got two panel pieces, so maybe once, like I mentioned, we get the rest of these in here, um, that'll get a little bit better. But, yeah, if you're building this thing, you're going to have to kind of finagle with these you know, by turning them back and forth before you tighten them down and try to make everything get as aligned as you possibly can. But, uh, and I don't know, that was just harder than it needed to be. <laughs> but anyway, uh, here we go. That was, that takes care of stages 67, 68, 69, and 70. Uh, only 30 more stages to go. I can't wait to get this thing finished. I'll be honest with you. It's starting to kind of run thin with me a little bit. But uh, yeah, it's, it's great. I do love it. It's still a great kit. I just wish like we could buy the whole thing and just finish it. But anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. And I thank you very much for watching. I will see you on the next video. So thanks again and have a good one.